This tutorial will show how to create an intelligent agent for your survey, especially a survey which is anonymous. Go to your course tools, intelligent agents, and now I want to create a new intelligent agent. I call it subject evaluation you can maybe call it semester 2 2021 and the agent is enabled the criteria is that I want to send it with users with specific roles and that is my students so I want to create and attach what do I want to create? An intelligent agent that will send a, an email to students if they haven't done their surveys. But uh, now you will see that there is no surveys available. The reason for that is because it is anonymous. How do we override it? We go to content if they haven't done content, not completed content topic. And now I can select a topic and the topic I will select is under subject or lecture evaluations semester 2 Niku Basson and I will create it. Now what do I want uh, this intelligent agent to do? I want it to send an email to the students. And here you can have replacement strings. So I want to send it to the students over here we, that means I must use initiating user then it will send it to all my students as selected above and this I will call subject evaluation subject code and my name now I want to tell the students dear and I want to use other replacement strings which I get here which is the first name of the student initiating user first name I copy it with the brackets and I paste it over there now I write my message you have not yet done your subject evaluation I will create a link, insert a quick link which goes to this survey there's the survey I want them to do there is the link and I can finish my email and create scheduling how often I want them to see this email so if I want to see it once a day I will say daily, once a day, every day, once a day, and for the next three weeks or four weeks, you put the date in there, you say update, and you save and close. This is basically how you would create an intelligent agent. Let's see what the students will see. You could run it now, that means that it will be sent to all the students, or you could do a practice run. I'm going to run it now. I will get this message and I will say thank you. Now to look at what has happened. Here I will see that one user was identified just now. I go there and I see that there was an email sent to my student. This is the email that he received. There's the student from me. And it says you have not yet done your subject evaluation. The student can click on this and do it. So the intelligent agents is an excellent way to remind your students to do something. You could also now tell them thank you for doing this. And remember to